you know, for us, we started looking offline and direct mail was a channel we had some experience with years and years ago. And it had three things that we love. It had scale. Everyone is reachable through direct mail. Everyone that lives in an address is, is reachable, right? Over 270 million Americans at about 160 million households. Two, there's quality data out there that you can use in the same kind of predictive way um, as you do through building your email CRM segments or your Facebook lookalike models. And, and three was most brands had kind of some kind of identity mapping where, where there's direct measurement. You know who you're sending a piece of mail to in an ad campaign, you know who's coming and converting at your POS or website. And now you could measure just as you know, cleanly, if not more cleanly than digital. And so we got really excited and we set out to just use the channel as marketers and really quickly learned how painful and slow moving and kind of lacking, you know, sophistication and efficiency that, that the channel was. There just hadn't been any innovation on the, the marketing technology side of it. And so for us, it was this idea of like, well, you know, I wonder if it's possible to do what Twilio did for SMS or the Trade Desk did or, or DoubleClick did for, you know, programmatic or Coteo did for retargeting and Facebook did for social and Google did for, for search. I wonder if it's possible to build that technology layer to make the direct mail channel behave more dynamically. So that was the path. It, it really was that authentic and organic of a story. Now this is a story all about how your business flip turned upside down and I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there and tell you how I can increase your revenue share.